Hi guys, welcome back to iPhotography on YouTube. So today we've got a really cool little tutorial about getting graduation photos. So this may be very, very pertinent, very useful. If you've had a bit of a problem this year in trying to get to those types of ceremonies with everything that's gone on during 2020. So we've got our lovely model Nicola who is gonna stand in and actually get some graduation photographs from us. We're also being joined by George and Albie, the office studio dogs today, just if you hear them in the background. So we're gonna go through a few different ideas, a few different kind of more traditional style portraits in a graduation sense, and then some more kind of creative ones as well. So we'll just walk and talk you through the whole shoot. Hope you enjoy it. Gonna start off just making sure that the lighting's nice and, and even and balanced to make come in a tiny bit closer with that. That's lovely, yeah. So just keep looking towards those pictures on the back of the wall. So we're getting a nice kind of blue tint to those just to give you an idea. It gives a nice kind of soft gradient of blue tint across the back there. Lovely. You turn your head a little bit more towards the window, but keep your eyes, that's it, just on me. That's lovely. So it just gives a totally different kind of vibe to the shot overall. Cheers, right. If you hold it so it's at its kind of pointers up towards your nose, and basically bring it in really close and it's just your eyes are peeking over the top. But if you hold it flat so it's straight up towards me, perfect, and bring it kind of close in, lovely. If you want to come maybe a tiny step further forwards and I'm just making sure I bring the lights in a little bit closer. Making sure everyone can still see. That's brilliant. See, you're getting the hang of this now, aren't you? Natural. Okay, tell me what we'll do then for a moment. Do you want to just take the gown off for a little bit and we'll just do some with the, uh, the mortar cap on its own. I may actually turn this backlight off for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, so it is, it's a really, really nice kind of little DIY hack that if you're not able to actually, you know, have your own um, certificate if for any reason you've not got one or anything like that, this is basically just a few documents rolled up in there and it's just a nice simple piece of uh, red ribbon you can get from most kind of hobby shops or anything like that, so we're just using that as our little uh, prop for the moment. <laughs> Alright, so just eyes on me again, thank you. Lovely, I'm going to step back a little bit because I'm just a fair bit close. Can I get you just to go a tiny step back as well, Nicola? Just, yeah, that's enough there, thank you. Lovely. So, effectively, we'll do the same again. Then, Nicola, if you wouldn't mind just taking a tiny step back from there. Right, thank you. Right, okay, so yeah, if we start two-handed this time, we'll almost repeat the same set of shots, but it's just in the gown, so you, it always gives you the option as to what you want to do, whether you want to do shots with the gown or without them when it comes to choosing them afterwards. So if you bring it a little bit higher, it's perfect. Right, thank you. Just again, eyes on me, superb. Now, if you bring it a bit closer towards your body and bring that left shoulder a bit more this way again so it's not totally turned, thank you. Now, if you just slightly dip your head a tiny touch, that's brilliant, lovely. to begin with is always to focus on the face and keep that regardless of what happens anywhere else. Don't take your finger off. Um, if you're shooting in the burst mode, just keep it on the shutter all the time and it will keep the focus placed. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three, go. Perfect, <laughs> lovely. Now what I'm going to try and do is actually bring this further forward so it's in the foreground for a second here now. And you may have to come Ooh, a little <laughs> bit closer in there. Alright, so we're just going to arrange the, the letterings just so they're in front. A 
that's great. So we're just going to get a nice little, cute little cameo shot. Can you say about still smiling? Well, even though you can't Yeah, it is very important to just to make sure that you've always got your subject smiling. You don't always have to be smiling necessarily, um, but even when you can't see. Their, their actual mouth, it does kind of translate in their eyes. I mean, well, just for a second, if you can just pull a very straight face for me for a second, Nicola. And then so if you can see Nicola's eyes, and then now if you actually smile, it totally changes around the cheeks and underneath the eyes, but it instantly gives you a clear indication that she is smiling, even though you can't see her mouth. So it is important to still kind of get your subject to smile in these instances as well. That's, that's great. So we're all done. I really hope you've enjoyed um, some of the tips and, and ideas that we've been going through that you can see with Nicola's uh, graduation shots. Obviously, hopefully they can rub off into some DIY at home graduation shots that you may be doing of your own. If you are, then just let us know. You know, you can drop us a, a note in the comments. You can send us some pictures on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Um, you can find us pretty much everywhere these days. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Any links that you may need about any of the blogs or even joining an eye photography course will be in the comments below. But um, from me and the rest of the team, thanks very much for watching.